So, you don't know how Ragdoll works in Cascader. Not a problem. Turn on the AI physics and let's say you want the Ragdoll to happen between these frames here and here. If you try and Ragdoll now, you will see that it applies the Ragdoll to everything. Now, we just want the Ragdoll to happen between these intervals here, so to do that, under physics, set it to work on interval. And now you can see the physics only predicts between these areas. Now we can add more frames and extend the ragdoll if we want. And up here, you can control the ragdoll settings as well. Stiffness multiplier controls how much the joints can freely bend. The higher the value, the more stiff the character will be during ragdoll. Dampening is kind of like how fast the limbs will stop moving. So the lower the value, the more the limbs will bounce around before resting. Free simulation makes the doll rag around the character's center of mass. Floor friction affects how sticky the floor is to the character, the lower the value, the more the character's limbs will slide around on top of it. And finally, the floor bounciness controls how much your character will bounce off of it. The higher the value, the more bounce you'll get. Now regardless, once you have the settings you want, snap the character to the AI physics up here, then bake those movements directly to the character with this. Now we have keyframes for the ragdoll animation, and normally you would spend some more time to make sure it looks exactly the way you want, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna go with this. Now assuming we are happy with these keys, we'll just connect them with a bazillion interpolation, turn the ragdoll off, reset the AI physics, and if it looks a little funny, it's probably because you need to turn the physics corrector off. And yeah, now it's a lot more normal. You're done. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.